So of course, as always, you wanna start off with your eyelid primed. Um, so I'm gonna be using a, just a concealer brush and my painterly paint pot. And I'm just gonna roughly kinda just place it all over. Um, if you're not very familiar with using eyeshadow bases, just make sure that you get it from the base of the lashes all the way up to um, the brow bone. And if you uh, fill in your brows at all like I do, um, you might want to not do your eyebrows yet until you put a little bit of uh, eyeshadow base or primer in them as well. It just helps keep the product on there. Alright, so the first color that I'm going to be using is a red, a shimmery red pigment. Like this. It's just like that one there in the inner corner. And to apply it, I'm just going to use a flat eyeshadow brush to apply. So I'm going to get a little bit of product like so and I'm going to take the cap and smash it into the cap, tap off excess and this is going to be applied in the inner corner. Pat it on. Especially because I'm uh, well, you don't have to use these pigments. You can use any red, yellow, and green. But I'm not taking this any higher than where I can feel my eyeball. This actually needs a little bit more red. So. Place it I don't know, about one third of your eye, about like the inner third of your eye. The next color that I'm, I'm just going to use the same brush and wipe it off. And the next color that I'm going to use is Electric Lemonade by Glamour Doll Eyes. With that focus. And this is what it looks like. Okay. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to dip right into it. Get a little bit of product on there. Like that. Grab the cap and smash. Smash it in. Tap it off and smash some more. And this is going to overlap over top of the red a little bit and out. Now you can just kind of sweep a little bit back and forth. Now what you want to do is get a dark shimmery green. I'm going to be using this one by La Femme. Um, the label is kind of messed up and rolled up but I really can't show this to you guys because if I it's so full if I tip it so you want to do the same thing get that on there grab the cap and smash it in and then tap it off to reduce fallout so this is just going to be padded on to the outer corner Sweep it inwards a little bit so you can kind of blend into that yellow. Or tap it on top of uh, where they meet. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a kind of a dark lavender color here, or like a medium purple, and I'm going to dip into this a little bit, this dark uh, kind of indigo blue purple. So I'm going to uh, mix those two colors together. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to mix those two colors together with my blending brush here. And I'm um, just going to tap into those. I don't know if you guys can see. Mostly the purple and then a little bit of the blue. And this is going to go in the socket, working really lightly. So even though I'm bringing this color in pretty far, I'm going to try to keep it as light as possible in the inner corner. Okay, so before I go any further, I'm just going to take my uh, paddle brush and go into a kind of uh, pale gold kind of color here one here and that's going to go in as a highlight you don't have to use a shimmer uh, on your highlight because we are using a bunch of shimmers on the lid and normally I really don't like to do that but um, if you apply um, apply it pretty sheer and just kind of uh, blend it out a lot where it doesn't have so high of a sheen then it should be okay so also I'm just going to use this brush and the color that's on here to kind of blend uh, into the socket color to soften it out some more go into that purple and that blue again and just kind of build up the color a little bit I'm going to go into the lighter purple cover, color, it's like a, a lavender color here. That one is going to be a transition color. It's going right on the edge of that and I'm very, very lightly just kind of blend that just to give a little bit of a pink. Now I'm going to be taking a pencil brush and I'm going to be taking that indigo color and placing that right into the socket. And this is going right into the socket. But I'm not going to bring... Oh yes I am. I'm not, I mean I'm not going to be bringing it all the way in, just kind of focusing on the outer half of the lid. Like that. And now I'm going to be taking the brush that I used first, the eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to go into this kind of teal, kind of sea green color. Why does it look so blue on the camera? 
it's really not it's kind of a blue green kind of seafoam color and I'm going to be putting this on the outer bottom corner of my eye actually almost along the whole um, lash line except for the inner corner and mixing that teal color with that indigo color this is going to go on the outer portion I mean the outer third and then I'm going to take the mix of those colors and I'm going to actually follow my um, lower lash line out then going in with a darker color kind of using that to make a little bit of a um, elongated shape there just kind of bringing it up into into there all right now I'm gonna take that eyeshadow brush and dip into this kind of light gold color right here and this is gonna go in the inner corner Okay, so, what am I doing now? Oh, now all that I have to do is apply a thin coat of mascara on my top lash line. Oh, I don't want to forget my lower water line. Um, oh, now I'm going to go in with a black coal, coal pencil and I'm going to line my lower water line and smudge a little bit into the base of the lashes. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f liquid liner and do a small wing on the inner uh, corner of my eye and now I'm going to be applying falsies these are the Sony Kashuk ones that I just bought uh, they're a little stiff though that's I don't know if I like that I don't I don't really think I like that about these I'm just going to use the glue that's provided all right so the lashes are on there's a little bit of glue Glue. I was gonna say glue. That is so Asian. Glue <laughs> uh, that is still drying. So that's what that white is. If you see it there, I'm just kind of resetting my la uh, my lashes, my eyebrows. So for the rest of the face, um, I already have a little bit of blush on, so I'm not gonna apply too much. But I will show you what I have on because it's still kind of goes with this look um, since I broke my New York color wheel in pink cheek glow that I used to always use <laughs> it shattered on me so I'm just using this 
Heather Silk one by Wet n Wild. Looks like that. It's more of a dark um, like purpley pink. And so because I have some on already, I'm just going to use a lot softer of a brush to apply. So um, any kind of uh, natural kind of blush will work. So I'm just kind of dusting that on the outside of my cheeks because we do have a lot of color already going on the face. So uh, you want to try to keep the cheeks pretty simple and natural. But you can use a nude. You can never go wrong with something nude. This one is 903C by Wet n Wild. It's these slanted ones uh, with, slanted like that, with the clear casing. And there you go. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it is pretty colorful, but um, it's using, I think it's colorful without looking too, too uh, in your face. I think that's why I chose to use the purple and the blue in the socket, um, because it it's not screaming colors. Um, so you do get a hint of the color when you like look down or, you know, you do see a uh, peak of color like that but it's not like from far away it's not like hey I have a bunch of colors on my eyeballs so um I really hope you guys like this one it was really fun to make um it was definitely in oh crap I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. It was really fun to create. Uh, it was a spur of the moment kind of thing that I um, uh, discovered when I was playing with makeup last night. I really wanted to do a color combination that was kind of rainbow, kind of not. So um, I hope you guys like it. And um, until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later.